Hi, my name is Dean and I rub cars with stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name is Dean. Uh, I'm the owner and operator of uh, Black Ops Detail. Uh, we've been operating for about five years strong now. Um, I started detailing about 10 years ago. Been in the field ever since. Uh, I do paint and body work as well. Um, basically, I've just been getting into it. Again, helping some friends out with their lovely cars, getting them nice and shiny and protected. What got you into it? Uh, basically, I was Fresh out of high school, starting life, um, a buddy of mine, Daniel, had started detailing uh, just on the side from his job. Uh, he hit me up one day, asked me if he needed some help. I signed on with him and uh, I worked with him for maybe about two years. And then uh, we went our separate ways and I just stuck with it and just basically made a living out of it. Uh, what would you say your favorite thing about it is? Um, probably just how meditative it is. A lot of people think that it's hard work, but for me, uh, I like to get lost in my thoughts and just brainstorm a lot. And for me, it just, it takes the time to just be by yourself, get your priorities in order. Um, also just the fact that the outcome of the car, as you can see here, they come out amazing. And that's really what keeps me motivated and passionate about it. Oh, that's that's really cool. Yeah. yeah, I actually didn't think about like how you can you spend so much time to like develop a skill that you can like just do the work and then go to another place and still organize your life at the same time, mm -hmm. which is really cool. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, it's great. What would you say your like least favorite part about it is? Um, probably the weather. <laughs> right. I mean, as you can tell, I'm a little greasy right now. Yeah, uh, it was a hot day. It was a pretty hot day, but some days, I mean, you get up to 105 and you're just out here. I mean, I'll bring it easy up along, but there's only so much you can do with that. Totally. What's your least favorite car to detail? Least favorite car, ooh. Um, I get a lot of jobs actually. Uh, hey, you know, I'm selling a car. It's not too presentable. Would you, you know, be able to help me out? Most of the time I can, but I would say nine out of 10 of those jobs, it's like kids have been in it, you know, throwing their food, wow. cereal, Jolly Ranchers, you name it everywhere. It's just, those ones are the bad ones. So right. I call them the mom cars. <laughs> yeah. This is like a vacation for you then. Oh yeah, to, this yeah. one. I mean, this is probably from a scale of one to 10, a two maybe. Awesome. <laughs> so what's your, what's your process? Like how, uh, from start to finish, how do you? Uh, start to finish. So basically I'll assess the car on what condition it's in with the customer ahead of time. Um, I'll also consult what their overall outcome is, what basically they expect to see at the end of the detail. Um, start off basically just washing the car, just taking all the light contaminants off. After that, basically just standard clay bar. Um, I use an Iron X decontaminant as well to pull all the iron deposits, all the fallout, because 
I mean, California weather these days, especially with all the fires, there's a lot of stuff that just- Actual fallout. <laughs> yeah, it just sits on the car. And yeah. you want to get that off before you start any type of paint correcting, buffing, polishing, anything to brighten up the paint. Um, from there, it's really up to the customer if they want uh, wet sand all the way to polish, if they just want like a cut and polish just to take the clear down a little bit, even just uh, a standard clay bar to wax process, we do it all. So for this one, we just did a one step polish. Um, I use all Shine Supply products. Uh, I've been using them for about three years now. They work great. Um, so for this one, we use their um, their burnout one step reconditioning cream uh, basically what that does it just brings out the gloss takes out most of the moderate scratches without going too heavy into the clear um, i'll suggest this detail to a lot of my clients because um, most of the time the clients don't know how much clear coat is actually on the car if the car has been resprayed um, i can assess it panel by panel if you want to go that in depth but for most of the time the one step polish works brings out the gloss, takes out the scratches, and makes the paint silky smooth. Awesome. And then uh, for protection, we'll follow it up with either a wax, or if you wanna go one step further, we have a Daddio sealant, which is a uh, silica-based paint sealant, basically one step lower than uh, ceramic coating. And uh, we are actually going to start offering ceramic coating in the near future as well. What would you say your favorite thing to do like in like specifically with detailing is? Um, probably the polishing part and the paint correction. Um, I like taking basically like a doled out panel. Some customers don't even think it can come out. They might think, you know, it might need a respray. I'll tell them, you know, let me just test a panel for you. And most of the time we can get it to be somewhat glossy. If it's not to the, their standards, sometimes they will need paint work. But most of the time, I mean, once they see that shine, it just comes out and you can just, you could take it from just a little shiny and really gloss it up. And just when you see that, that's just, it's a great outcome. Um, shout out your social media. Um, you can find us, uh, Black Ops Detail, on Instagram, uh, underscore, on, after all the words in the, the title. But uh, yeah, or just the hashtag Black Ops Detail, and uh, you could hit our DM there if you need any work. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Into his eyes. Into his soul. Perfect. <laughs> if he blacks out, it's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs>